The May primary is drawing closer and tonight there's growing interest in one county commissioner race. A lot of names are in the hat for Simon Harris spot. NBC 5's Roma Vivicencio is back from Grants Pass. She joins us live in our Medford newsroom with more. Roma. Natalie, nine different candidates, all with different views, and tonight people wanting to hear what those are. Most everyone I spoke with said they were at the forum to find out what each candidate will do for their county. Nine Josephine County Commissioner candidates and only one spot. Should Josephine County ban medical marijuana dispensaries? Wednesday night, the battle against incumbent Simon Hare heated up at a second forum hosted by the Chamber of Commerce and the Daily Courier. I'd like to find out what's the real truth. Over a hundred concerned Josephine County residents wanted to know why each candidate deserves their vote. Just to, to see the county react to the new economy to the new state of mind uh, that the country has and how they're going to handle that. I want to see how they react and handle themselves. Uh, that's my biggest thing. During the two-hour forum, one of the hottest topics, Measure 1759, it would fund juvenile justice and the jail, a levy that's failed the last seven times it's hit the ballot. You can say that you're going to give money to this or that, but if it's not there and well-defined, I don't trust them. That it's very difficult situation for commissioners, for sheriffs, and so forth. However, it's difficult for the public also. It doesn't make me want to run right out and give them more money because if they can't spend right what they got, why give them more? With nine options for a commissioner, one thing was certain: these voters want to choose a leader they can trust. The Chamber and the Courier hosted similar forums for sheriff candidates. Now voters should start seeing ballots in their mail starting Saturday. Live in the newsroom, Roma Villavicencio, NBC5 News.